Hello and a very warm welcome. Manchester United 1, Bournemouth 1. What a match full of controversy. Where do we start? Again, we take the piss out of Arsenal for being bottle jobs, but what do we do second half? We go and bottle it. How can't we beat 10 men? At home, can't put away 10 men. Yes, oh, well, they put every man behind the ball. Of course they're going to put every man behind the fucking ball. They've got 10 men, they're away from home at Old Trafford. Getting a point for Bournemouth is like free. I mean, how many times has it happened this season at, at home? We've got Hull, Arsenal, Liverpool, Burnley, Stoke, West Ham and now Bournemouth. And I probably missed someone out there. Away at Everton we should have won. We could have, we should have. Oh, but we've had more shots, we've had more possession. Yeah, great. But we can't put teams away, can we? I mean, look how... First 25 minutes, how many chances do we have? Rooney, literally three minutes into the game, chest it, took it away. He tries and heads it. I mean, Rooney, two or three good chances. Pogba, two or three good chances. Mata, two good three chances. Ibrahimovic misses a penalty. And... if I'll get on to Marcus Rojo and Phil Jones in a minute. But basically... Um, Rojo and a phobie. I, I, I genuinely thought Rojo was going to pull him down and he was off. I mean, a phobie should have scored. Let's not beat around the bush here. Marcus Rojo again. Well, we'll get onto that in a bit. But Rojo and a phobie. A phobie's in. It, all he has to do is go around De Gea and it's 1 0 to Bournemouth. But he slips, luckily. And then we get the goal. I think it was Valencia whipped it in. Rojo scores. Well done. 1-0. We deserve it. I mean, we could have been 3-4-0. I mean, how? And then, we get on in the game. Bournemouth basically come into the box. And I forget who it was. But one of the Bournemouth players, anyway, cuts back inside. Jones takes him down. I mean, poor, poor, poor by Phil Jones. I mean, they're not... It's as simple as that for me. Phil Jones is not good enough to play for Manchester United. I mean, he looked lost today. He looked like a little kid on um, playing a Sunday league game. He just looked... He just didn't look right. He just... Fair enough, he's been out injured again, of course. What's new? But just not good enough, is it? Oh, I mean, we have Ferdinand and Vidic, and today we've got uh, Rojo and Jones as our centre-backs. I mean, Bayes... 20,000 times better than them two put together. It's just not good enough. Too many draws at home. Oh, and what happens? Basically, cuts inside. Phil Jones takes him down. Penalty. Bournemouth score. 1-1. And then all the controversy before the half-time whistle. I mean, Ibrahimovic, and this is me saying it from a Manchester United fan. Before I get on to um, Tyrone... Mings, who should have two bricks round his legs and thrown in the nearest river for all I care. Fucking prick. Anyway, Ibrahimovic throws him to the ground, so that is a yellow card, and then he elbows him. Ibrahimovic, 1000% should have been sent off. And that, you can see here, Manchester United fan, Ibrahimovic should have been sent off, 1000%. But Tyrone Mings, he comes in on Wayne Rooney and uh, Ibra. Takes him down. He gets up to go and help his team. Stamps on Ibrahimovic's head. He's got to get a five-match ban at least. And that's being kind. For me, he should have a ten-match ban. It's absolutely disgusting. If you did that in real life, you'd get arrested for it. So, what, to do it on a football pitch, disgraceful. You should be ashamed of yourself, time Rome means. And then, basically, after that, we get a corner, play it short. Uh, I think it was Matter back to Rooney. Rooney whips it in. Ibra gets his revenge. Elbow. Marouane. He must have been getting lessons off Marouane Fellaini, Ibrahimovic, because it's pure revenge. It's pure revenge. I mean, Tyrone Mins has stamped on Ibrahimovic's head, and Ibra's pure revenge goes with the elbow. I mean, you can't blame him, really, but again, not taking away from... This is not me being biased. Ibrahimovic should have been sent off. He threw Tyro Mins to the floor. And then he elbowed him. And there was another incident. And then Ibra gets up after the elbow incident. Sermon pushes him over. 
and Manchester United fans sing six foot five hard as fuck geek. Six foot five hard as fuck. Sermons tapped him. Oh, and he's gone over like he's been shot. So for me, he br- that. I'm a Manchester United fan through and through, but let's look at it from an outside view. I mean, Ibra, he, Sermon's touched him, and he's gone over like he's been shot. This is a six foot five guy who's built like a brick shit house. So, basically, Sermon's off, Ming should have been off, so Bournemouth should have been down to nine men, and United should have been down to ten. But the only red card that was given was Sermon. So we come out second half... United 11 men, Bournemouth 10, and we take the piss out of Arsenal for being bottle jobs. Well, what did we do second half? We're playing against 10 men and we can't break them down. Oh, but they parked the bus. Of course they're going to park the bus. They've got 10 men. They were away from home. Three points is like Chris... Well, I say three points. What am I on about? They only got a point, but it's like three points for Bournemouth. It's like Christmas come early. It's like... um. Angelina Jolie, legs spread wide, naked on the bed, and say, come in half me, because, oh, dear me, where are we? Oh, yeah, Ibrahimovic, massive chance, penalty kick, handball for the Bournemouth player. I mean, I would have said 90% he was going to score. He's been banging the goals in, but think how many goals Ibra could have. In all these draws we've had at Old Trafford, He's missed so many one-on-ones. He, he could have like 40 goals this season if he tapped them all in. I mean, to be fair, it's a good save by Arta Boric. But it's just not good enough. I know we're Manchester United. We don't have a divine right to win. But we should be putting 10 men Bournemouth away. I mean, Liverpool. I, I don't like to mention the Scousers. But Leicester, Sack Ranieri, you expect Liverpool to go and piss all over Leicester, get three points. Somehow, they lose, we're gifted another chance, and we don't take it again. Wow, we got a point. What what good's a point? What good is a point? I mean, we're still six. We've been in six for about the last, well, God knows how long. I mean, we could go, we could go to fourth if we get the win. Arsenal-Liverpool play at half five. A draw would have been perfect between them two. Arsenal will go back to fourth. We're in fifth, Liverpool six. But no, we we take the piss out of Arsenal. And what do we do? We go and do an Arsenal. Bottle jobs. We've got to, we've got to put it away. And anyone, Marcus Rojo has been... He's, he's played well, to be fair. And so has Phil Jones at centre-back. But they are not... Good enough to play for Manchester United. It's as simple as that. And I will call the players out because I couldn't care. I'm angry. The match has just finished. Emotions running high. Jesse Lingard, not good enough. Marouane Fellaini, not good enough. Phil Jones, not good enough. And Marcus Rowe. Lingard, Fellaini, Jones and Rojo, not good enough. And if you watched the, uh, my video of the five players I would sell if I was Manchester United manager, they were in it. Jones, Rojo, Fellaini, Lingard, and the other one was Yanazai, but he's on loan at Sunderland, so we'll forget about him But for now. But it's just not good enough. I mean, what do you think? I mean, Ibrahimovic should have been sent off. I mean, Tyro Mings, he's going to get banned for that. And I expect Ibrahimovic to get banned also. Because what he did to Mings was revenge, yeah. But there's no place for it on a football pitch. It would be cowardly of me to come on here and say, oh, Ibrahimovic threw an elbow. No, he's wearing a Manchester... I've, I've gone to in on Marouan Fellaini for doing that, throwing elbows. It's an absolute disgrace to throw elbows like that when you're wearing this badge. Manchester United badge. I mean, fair enough, Ibrahimovic is a million times the footballer of Marouane Fellaini, but, I mean, he should have been off, Ibra. Ming should have been off, and Sermon was, well, second bookable, won it? He pushed Ibra. Ibra went down like a sack of shit, but what can you do? It's not good enough. I think this is the most angriest I've ever been. I mean, at the end of the day, we still got a point, but it's just not good enough. It's not good enough. We needed three points. Liverpool slip up against Leicester and we don't capitalise again. Time and time again. Stoke, West Ham, Hull, 
Arsenal, Liverpool, Liverpool away, we part the bus, we don't even want to go for the win. Um, Everton, Fellaini gives a penalty away um, in like the last five minutes and we draw that game. If, buts, maybes, we need to stop, stop with the bullshit and the excuses and get the job done. I mean, how many chances did we have in the first 25 minutes? That one, three minutes in, Runig, just take it on your chest. And you've got a chance, but he heads it. Pogba has a great chance. Mata chance. Ibra penalty. Ro and you see Rojo. For me, I'm sorry if I've upset anyone, but this this is just after the game. Emotions are high. Rojo is not good enough. He's played well. Like I said before, him and Phil Jones have done well this season, but they're not Manchester United players. And Fair play, Jose Mourinho. He brings Luke Shaw back. I'm so happy about that. Luke Shaw is 10 times easy our best left back. And he's got to play more often. I, I, liked his, I liked it today, him getting forward with Martial. Martial had a few chances. Everyone had a few chances. I actually do think we missed Herrera today. He's like a little chihuahua around your toes all the time. Yap, yap, yap. But... Oh. I've gone on. Off, I've gone off on one. I'm sorry. We got nice little poster. United scarf. Ah, oh, dear me. Ah, oh. I did a video against Arsenal when we drew at home. I remember lamppost Giroud scored in like the 89th minute. Uh, it's just not good enough. Too many. Um, too many times this season at home. We've drawn. And for me, it, we just keep buggering it up. I'm going to get the table up now while I'm live. I mean, hopefully it should have updated because the game finished quite a while ago now. Well, not a while ago, like 20, 30 minutes ago. Yeah, we're in six. So we're on 49 points. We could have gone to 51. That would have been fourth. Arsenal-Liverpool play later. A draw is what was needed really for us because... If Liverpool win, they pull away. Arsenal pull a win, they pull away. But if Arsenal win now, they go to... Uh, they're on 50 at minute, 53. So that's four-point gap. It's infuriating. I mean, look, where are we? 26 games played, Manchester United. 13 wins, 10 draws, 3 losses. Yeah, well done. We've gone 20-odd uh, games unbeaten. But what? It, what does that mean? We cannot put these teams away. It's just, I can't believe it. Teams we should, teams in the past, and I don't want to talk about the past, but teams we would crucify normally. The likes of Hull, Bournemouth, Stoke, West Ham. Teams we would crucify and they're picking up draws at Old Trafford. I mean, Arsenal, Liverpool, I mean, we battered Arsenal. And it's just just not good enough. Wow, 13 minutes I've been going on and ranting. But look, that just proves everything I've just said. 13 wins, 10 draws. The draws are killing our season. It's as simple as that. And somehow, most of the draws have been at home. It's just unacceptable. I am Jose Mourinho, 100%. We won the Community Shield last... Uh, Community Shield? EFL Cup last week. We won the Community Shield before... And we won the EFL Cup last week. It was fantastic. But Rojo is simply, I'm sorry to say, I just don't think he's good enough to play for Manchester United. Before we play Blackburn in the FA Cup, he gets absolutely rinsed by Marvin Emnes, whatever he's called, and then uh, Danny Graham scores. Southampton the other week in the EFL Cup nearly gives a penalty away. He's piss poor at left back. Piss poor. Luke Shaw is our best left back, easily. I don't need 8 million, 10 million to tell you that Luke Shaw is our best left back. That's just from watching and being, well, actually having a brain. But, and then today, a phobie's in. I thought he was going to take him down and he was going to get a red card. I mean, I cannot wait. I, I, for me, I know Smalling's not that great. But for me, I'd rather see Bay and Smalling as our centre-backs. We definitely need to go... For me, 100%, we need to go out and get another centre-back to partner Bay Because Jones is not good enough. Rojo's not good enough. And 
we have Twan Zabi, but he's too he's too young at the minute. And who else? Uh, Smalling. Smalling's. I mean, he's hit and miss with United fans. I don't think he's amazing, but I'd play him over Jones and Rojo any day. Oh, depressing. 15 minutes. This is probably my longest video live. Ah, oh, dear me. If you are new, if you're a Manchester United fan, like, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts of the game. It's infuriating. I don't know how long we've been in six now, but... I mean, do we deserve top four with all these draws? I don't think we do. I mean, I've said it four times in this video. We take the piss out of Arsenal for being bottle jobs. And what have we just done second half? We should be out firing. You've got this badge on your shirt... You've got your name on the back of your shirt. We're coming out. We know we're against 10 men against Bournemouth. And we can't do it. Obviously, Bournemouth are going to put everyone behind the ball, as expected. And we can't break them down. We can't get that second goal. I mean, we should have got it with Ibrahimovic. I mean, but good save by Boric. Um, I feel like I'm going round in circles. So I think I'm going to leave it there. Let me know your thoughts on the game. Like, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Ah, football, huge passion. Oh, these draws are going to kill me.